Hi, I just looked at my inbox from my emails and I noticed five students from different classes are sending me a Word document with the, with the responses to the journal for the peer review critique and they're done beautifully, but you don't send them to me, they stay in the journal. So you're going to post them in the journal. That's where they're going to be graded and that's where they're going to be housed. That's where they're going to stay. So you have to see how you create a journal entry. I'll look at the exact wording when I get back home. Right now I don't know, but I never had anyone do that before. So the instructions are there for do three separate critiques with those sentences as your guide. If you want to add some different um, comments, that's fine too. You don't have to stick to those questions and you don't have to answer all of them, but it's to give a good review. The students that sent me their critiques, they were really well done, but they don't get sent to me. They stay within the journal. They get posted to the journal. It's semi-private. The class does not see it. I get to see it only, but the class doesn't get to see it. It's really between you and me. That's it. And then same is true of the voice thread. When it's time to do another one, put it where it says post. I haven't received every one's for in the news. I don't think you did the post. I hope you get used to this. And then discussion boards you seem to be pretty good on. When, but not all of you were in the class in the summertime. But when I sent you a video saying, please know the technology before the semester starts, that's what I meant. And now you do. It's like learning to drive a car. Once you understand how the mechanics work and you can operate it, you're going to feel really powerful. So this was a learning curve for us. That's fine. And don't, um, uh, and don't forget, this is true for any online class. You might take an online class and the teacher says they're going to be using Wiki or they're going to be using another tool. Then you have to study that. What I've done in the past is I go to YouTube, I go Blackboard Wiki, Blackboard Journals, Blackboard Discussion Boards through YouTube, and there's usually a tutorial there if you do not want to call the Site Lab or the Help Desk. But you wouldn't know unless you find out. So find out, educate yourself. That is your responsibility, a powerful one, because once you know, you have, you're in charge and it's a great thing. All right, good luck everyone.